here at a bell-owned tower on Kemount Hill in St. John's, Newfoundland. It's a good bit changed here over the years, and this is a fairly new generator. This building is the newer one here. It's actually quite a calm day here. It's usually windy this high up. As you can see, there's not a whole lot to see. This is their cooling unit, the waveguide coming out. This old building here doesn't appear to even be in use anymore. And I'm not sure what it ever was. I'm sure there's a lot, yeah, a lot of history at this site. I'm sure someone out there knows something. So if you're familiar with it, feel free to comment. I'd love to see inside and wonder if there's any old equipment left in there, but let's go up around here and see. It's, uh, some old cable, a fair bit of it, coming into this place, but it doesn't actually look like it's used anymore. And there's a second tower here that's now gone. So you can see there's no electric, uh, electricity hooked up to this place anymore, this particular one. There's maybe one or two cables still coming out of the building, going to the tower that just assume aren't in use. <clears throat> the wood on the top there to protect from falling ice. It looks like it's either been hit or just decayed over the years. So, yeah, they stopped using that completely. The tower itself. It's a couple of microwave dishes. I really don't know what they're being used for and mainly just sell equipment there. Not a whole lot, really this point there's some other antennas on the top probably some kind of tenant here that uses it for communication purposes it could be taxis or who knows so here's the base of the tower now when I noticed the other one there was a second tower in here and for years I I don't know what it was used for because last going off there was nothing really on that either. And then I noticed one day after being away for a while it was just gone. And you can barely see in the ground where it was. The concrete was here somewhere but yeah. So sometime in the last year or two, it's 2020 right now, that second tower was completely taken out. That's another one there. I'm not really sure who owns that. Maybe the police? I can't believe how calm it is up here. There's no wind. It's really unusual. So yeah, some Bell cell equipment, and that's the uh, dual the Bell and Telus network. Some antennas way up there at the top. The light on this hasn't worked in years. I guess I think the requirements changed. They didn't need one anymore. There's a taller tower nearby with lights. So I don't know. But. No light on the top that functions. A couple of microwave dishes. You can see the cell equipment here. Pretty well maintained. Nice sight, the fence is all intact. I don't know if you can see over in the distance or not, those two towers, that's uh, VOCM and VOCM FM. Not too far from here. There's the guy wires way in the woods. So yeah, mainly a cell site at this point. A few other things here, but I'd really like to know the history and if, uh, especially with the second tower, what was there over the years. Definitely, I know the cell equipment changed over the years as they upgraded and moved away from analog and whatnot. This site has been here for a good while. So, used to have different stuff up there, but it's all gone. It's a fairly high central point here in the city. There's uh, four or five other towers up here. Some have actually in here and disappeared over the years, but for the most part, the main ones are here. There's a big CBC one up here, which you'll see in another video. 
that's really all there is to see here. GPS antenna on this building. Another one over there. Not a whole lot going on though. If you know anything about this site, it'd be great to hear in the comments.